Hi, it's Julie here, back for another fun beauty video. How are you doing? I'm really glad you're here. If you are new here, my name's Julie, and I'm a new beauty content creator here on YouTube. I'm fairly new to makeup, but I feel like my love of makeup and my love of learning about it will really be a value, a value to you. So I hope you keep watching, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. So anyway, because I love makeup so much, I tend to collect it along the way, whether I need it or not. So anyway, that's a whole other thing. But especially like on Ipsy, you're able to get makeup at a really discounted price. So when I see a, like a foundation I haven't tried yet, I'll pick it up. So I have a few here that I'm wanting to try finally, instead of just, you know, having them hang out in the drawer behind me. So let me show you what they are. So I've got this Morphe um, Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30. Um, and that's what that looks like. Let me take it out of the box. I'm so excited to be trying these. I haven't heard great things about this one, but anyway. So I got it in the shade Light Glow 3, and it looks like this. I'm not sure if we're going to be opening it, so let's just set it down for right now. And then I have this um, LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation um, in the shade Light Neutral 3. And it looks like that, and it's a serum foundation. And I've got um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 140N, and the bottle looks like that. I'm not sure how old these foundations are. I don't think they're that old. And then I've heard really good things about this Yensa. Um, it's a BC foundation, BB plus CC, Full Coverage Foundation, 8 Super Blacks, Essence, hmm, and SBF 40. So that's pretty nice. And like I said, I've heard really good things about this one. So I'm not sure which one I want to try today. Um, I am testing out some. Um, I have a lot of products to try. That's why I need. I have a lot of videos to make. So ho hopefully you'll subscribe and push the notification bell. And you can find out when I post a new video. Because I've got a lot to make. Anyway, I've got this one size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. So I put a little bit of that on my nose right here and on my pores here, um, a little bit on my upper lip to maybe fill in my lines, although they never do, but anyway. And then I'm trying this other one. Um, where did I put it? Oh, Beauty Blender Opal Essence Serum Primer. And on the box it says, uh, radiance and moisture. I put it here. It didn't do much, but it's good that it moisturized. And let's see. And I have a lot of, like I said, a lot of new primers to try. Let me see what it says. Capture that golden hour glow with the transformative serum, which delivers the perfect dose of, do of dewiness. Skin never looks dull or too greasy. Um, botanical extracts help brighten and illuminate so makeup both looks and lasts better. Okay, it looks pretty. Let me show you the texture of it. The blurring, this little one is like a silicone feeling one. I'm not sure what's in it. This one looks interesting. And again, I think I got it at it on Ipsy. I don't even know if they're still making it. Probably. So it looks like this. It's kind of um, holographic to some degree. And it's like this, yeah. It's moisturizing, so that's what that looks like. So I don't know which one I want to try. I wish you guys could tell me. Um, I kind of want to try the Yensa first, so let's do that, okay? The Yensa. Let me go wet my sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, I did it. I've got it. Um, I'm not going to be able to do too much of a wear test because I have to go to bed pretty early, and it's already 4.30. Um having such a hard time like getting going right now even though the sun's out pretty much um the light's changing you know to more of a spring light but I'm just I guess stuck in that um seasonal effective thing because I'm just so tired all the time but anyway I made it to do a video I'm happy I'm happy to be here oh and I've been trying out this road of course I'm not going to be able to find it I've got so much makeup right here that road lip um, stuff, lip peptide, let's see, peptide lip treatment, um, and it's like really, it, it, um, 
I can't think of the right word. It really fills your lips in like just as much as one of those painful um, lip fillers. So I like it. I like it a lot. I've heard some people um, had trouble with it because um, the peptides were um, maybe reacting badly with their skin or something. So people, people were getting burned from it, but that hasn't happened to me. Okay, where is that Yensa foundation? It's right here. And um, I think it's awesome it has SPF, although you'd have to put a lot of it on to get the SPF that you need. So I don't know, I'm not gonna be putting that much on. Even though it's full coverage, I'm not gonna overdo it. You know, I don't wanna, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I put one pump in my hand. And I'm gonna grab my sponge, grab my mirror. I hope you're all having a good day. The shade looks good. Okay, well, it's not full coverage right now. It's pretty light, actually, the way I put it on. Let me try to build it up right here. It's pretty. I like the finish of it. I wouldn't call it full coverage though, because I can still see stuff through it. But it's pretty. It's nice. Okay, let me put some on the other side. That was one pump for half of my face, not even my forehead. Um, I don't know if I have a particularly big, particularly big face. That I'm not sure. So I put another pump. I'm gonna do this right here. I always keep it here in my hand, they say, to put it there because it's warm and it kind of warms up the product for you. Let's see how much we can cover over here. Yeah, it's definitely not full coverage. Not that I can see. Um, it covers, but I can still see stuff through. Okay, pick up my bangs. I know some people aren't into having hair on your face when you're doing foundation or whatever, but I always have my bangs. I had a skin cancer here and they removed like kind of a chunk of my forehead, but I already had my bangs there. It was kind of a blessing. That's pretty good coverage. I love the finish of it. It's very radiant. Okay. Well, I'm going to wear it as long as possible and I'll come back and let you know how it did especially this primer side versus the other side. Let me see if I notice anything different at all. Um, a little bit, a little, uh, I, it feels smoother right here. It seems smoother. And I guess it looks better. This side has more lines, so it's hard to tell. This is the side, you know, when you're driving and the sun hits you right here. I didn't use much sun protection. Like a lot of us my age, we didn't really understand how much we needed it. So, okay, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll come back. Okay, bye. Hold on. Okay, so I did all my makeup and I actually tried this new palette. I did a video um, trying this new palette from Lawless, the lavender one. It looks like this. And I did two different eye looks. So anyway, um, the foundation is okay. It kind of wore off right here, kind of where I put that 
um, silicone primer. It's worn off here for some reason. And I mean, it's been on about an hour and a half, so not much time. And it looks slightly dry in spots, but not too bad. Um, yeah, I think it's okay so far. I like it. It's pretty. It's radiant. So I'll let you know in a few hours. I'll probably still be up in about, you know, three hours and I'll get back to you and let you know how it did. Okay, bye. Hi, so here I am. I'm in my bathroom now, getting ready to um, wash my face. And I wanted to show you what the foundation looks like. Um, it's actually looking pretty good. I know you can't see that well, but anyway, um, this is all the light I have in here. Like I said, it had worn off a little bit right here in my lip, kind of where I put that primer. Let me look at the two sides and see if I see anything different. Um, not really. I feel like maybe my blush and my contour held on tighter here than the other side. That primer might have helped me with that. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I take it off. It's about eight o'clock, so it's been on about three and a half hours. I haven't had to sweat or anything like that, um, but it stayed intact and I like the way it looks. I do. I mean, considering what I'm working with, I, I enjoy it. So next time we'll try a different one, okay? So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe if you need to and push the notification bell so you'll be notified. Okay, bye.